Hey everyone, the old nerd guy here. Today, a little dinosaur team single shot blaster showdown. Welcome to that. The X shot, X thing, and the nerf, Stego smash. Okay, the X thing blaster is smaller, but if you extend the blade, they are pretty much exactly the same length. They both have four dart storage capacity. They are both single shot, both rear prime. This one has a little recoil action and a foldable blade. Looking at them, they are two different styles. This one looks like more like a weapon that is used to hunt dinosaur, while this one kind of looks like a cyber dinosaur warrior. I don't know. Uh, something like the pre for this blaster. <laughs> like this is dinosaur shape. This is meant to hunt and fight dinosaurs. So they are really meant to go against each other. Let's start with the Stego Smash. Chronograph test for the Stego Smash versus the X-Shot Extinct. Let me try first with the Stego Smash. To remember, I am using X-Dart here that might explain the little boost in FPS. That's what I always do with my front loader. Let me put a few more. Yeah, it's not bad, 72, I mean. 73? Let me try with waffle tip, just to see. 58 and 47. Okay, so I guess those Zuru Dart yeah, or better ceiling. That gave us a, a 67 average, 47 minimum, and 76 maximum. Mm, not so bad for this little Stego Smash. The Stego Smash was the first in the Dino Squad line from Nerf this year. This is a single shot blaster. Pull back, like I said earlier, with the shape of a Stegosaurus. Uh, the dart that came with it were about the ugliest on the market, in a weird green color. And those spikes are rubberized, and uh, as opposed to nerf safety measure, quite spiky. The blaster has some weight to it, and it seems like superb quality. Uh, mother's note, there is only screw in the front, none in the back. So my feeling is there is some hidden pin or glue somewhere that's going to prevent us from opening this blaster. Uh, performance wise, 75 uh, FPS or about, but it's on the accuracy that this thing doesn't shine. It, like it's one, it shoot where it want to shoot everywhere, but where you point or almost. This is kind of a flaw. Uh, for the rest, everything is superb. The quality, the color, the deco. It is really a well-worked style. And I really dig this kind of blaster with a small handguard. Little note here, the handle is a little cramped. Uh, that's my biggest complaint of the whole blaster. Now, 
for the extinct. Now, let's try to see how the extinct fetch. 83 82 77 81 84 Sixty-nine, seventy-seven, eighty, even, seventy-five. I had a little more during the review. Let's try waffle tip seventy-one. Ah, the waffle tip doesn't have the same like down effect on this one. Maybe a little. You try. Genuine dinosaur dart to go with it. 84. Yeah, those blue Zuru dart are oh, tied or a little tad tighter on the barrel. Yeah, 83. Yeah, not the best Zuru out there, but it's better. 78 average, 84 maximum, and a 63 minimum. Hmm, looks like this extinct packs a little more punch than the little Stego Smash. Uh, the Extinct is the latest Eggshot Blaster to have come to the market. This is brand, brand new. I just got my hand on this one and that got me pretty excited for this blaster. This is basically a Eggshot Kickback that has been reskinned and reshelled with the brand new Dino Attack Deco on it. Uh, really, the detailing on this blaster is really awesome. Uh, quality is a tiny bit inferior to the to the Stego Smash, but uh, nonetheless, this is an upgrade from Zuru. In some play, the plastic is a little thin, which will be my biggest concern of this old blaster, but it's only on the slide, which you don't really manipulate, so it's okay. It's to be light for the recoil action. For the rest, this blaster got its four dark onboard capacity and this cool little blade. Uh, for the ones that are concerned about this little blade, I'm telling you, this thing is rounded, very thick, it doesn't hurt. That means, compared to the spike on the top of the Stego Smash, this thing is a neat winner. The performance on the Extinct Blaster are more around 85 FPS, which is a bit more than the Stego Smash, and it shoots quite straight for that small of a blaster, even if some of the dark still protrude out of the barrel when you shoot it. At least it's a tiny bit better than a kickback when you shoot it. So the Extinct, the Stego Smash. Uh, on paper they are the same. If you measure them when the blade is extended they are the same length. If you check the stats they both are single shot pullback prime with four dart spare storage on board. Uh, they both have handguard they both have really, really nice deco. It's going to be down to the performance, because the performance on this one, on 75, are pretty good. But this one reached 85 pretty easily, so right there, this one is a winner. And then there is accuracy, which is really, really lacking on this blaster. Uh, I don't know for what reason the dart just fly everywhere around the target, and I hold the blaster straight. Uh, the same way I will hold this little extinct pretty straight and this one 
hit the target more time. Uh, no, I am not sure what's wrong with this one, but there is something inside. Plus, little mother's note, like I said before, this one I'm not sure we could open without breaking something inside. Uh, so yeah, nice deco, but this one performs just better. Uh, as for price, they are exactly the same price. Those are both $15 blaster when you buy them, $15 Canadian when you buy them. Uh, there is no difference there. There is no difference in their form, function, uh, size. Yeah, this one is slightly more compact if you fold the blade. Even there, it's a bonus. It's more compact and it's more powerful. So yeah, for this showdown, I think the blaster, it's meant to kill the dinosaur just one this time. Like, yeah, this one is done. There's no way around it. My winner for this showdown is this extinct blaster. It came late in the year, but it's pretty awesome, pretty amazing in design and in deco, and it's performing very well. That's it for this video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.